Yo, what up guys, Bifadi here to drop you some hot information that is just dropping in the content creator chat of Raid Shadow Legends and we have to tell you that a 10x is coming up, you already knew this, if you head over into the game you can see a clan vs clan is just counting down right here in um, 19 hours which will start on May 9th and along with it will be a 10x but there is which champions will you be available in this 10x that's what is the important information in this video along with maybe other fusion um, stuff that i want to share so the first champion that's part of this 10x that we just let everybody know is, is harima i'm laughing because they just made us pull all our shots this um void um weekend 2x void weekend along with other 10x events that came up with it and now they are giving you another 10x for a awesome champion amazing champion that i do not own um, arima is from the shadow king faction and she's right here whenever i see this champion in the pvp content I'm, I'm just like wow can i really kill her because for some reason this champion is not able to take the maximum damage you deal to her in this video i want to find out why <laughs> because i don't know her skills obviously because i don't own this champion but whenever you try to hit this champion you feel like this is not a champion that's supposed to hit hard but she does and yeah also places provoke i think on your on allies let me find out why this champion hits so hard i'm guessing it's gonna be the passive and why she doesn't take a, a maximum damage enemy ignore defense effects are decreased by 50 percent so basically that's why she doesn't get take uh, maximum damage whether it's savage sets you're hitting her with whether it's decreased defense you're ignore defense is different from decreased defense right ignore defense it might most likely be that one from savage sets so i guess that's why because i'm trying to hit her with candle phone i'm trying to hit her with um what do you call this other champion uh, magna but she's not taking maximum damage compared to other allies in her team and i'm guessing that's the reason why she takes 50 percent less um damage i mean 50 percent less ignore defense so if somebody is hitting you with a savage set that ignores defense by 50 percent that service set will be hitting, will be ignoring defense by 25% instead of um, 50. So, chances, champions from this, from the uh, Shadow King faction cannot inflict critical hits on this champion. Did I say Shadow King? Demon Spawn. Let me find out why. Demon Spawn. Demon Spawn. That's why. <laughs> That's why my candy cannot create this champion. Damn. I never knew this about this champion because I don't own her and usually a champion you don't own you usually don't want to don't want to watch a champion guide about them or if a you know somebody's explaining their skills and all that because you don't own them you're like but it's important to know these things because now I know I'll never use a candra phone against this champion I'm still stuck on the passive I really don't care about all her big hits but this is the big thing that I'm really concerned about why I can't kill her so easily and right here Shadow King faction champion inflict cannot inflict critical hits on this champion. This champion cannot land weak hits on champions from Demon Spawn faction. I keep saying Shadow King faction, but Demon Spawn faction is who she has beef against, and that is most likely not just Candy. Who else is in Demon Spawn that um, Kaima? I use Kaima against her. Yes, I think that's the only person I use against this champion, Kaima and Candy. So now I know whenever I see her in battle, Kaima and Candy will most likely be useless. Oh, I use Duchess a lot against her too. It's not like I do Duchess, do damage on that, but she's just for, there for the support role. So that's the first champion that is part of this 10x Harima. Now from looking at this passive, I can already tell this is a champion I want. So whenever you see the enemies have a bunch of... Once you just see Candy in a team, you just go with Harima. That's especially if you're going in um, 1v1 arena, in live arena. Once somebody puts a candle phone, because you know that he's not going to crit her, you can just put in an Ararima and see if they're going to ban her. But what else does she do? Her big hit that actually hits hard is this one AoE. It also presses a provoke AoE right there. This debuff cannot be blocked or resisted. That is the reason why even if I have a bunch of stuff on me, I still get provoked. So block debuff buff placed by by a duchess i still get provoked this debuff cannot be blocked so that's block debuff buff and it cannot be resisted so no matter how much resistance you have even on your uh, mitrala your mitrala is right there but she has the highest resistance she still gets provoked mitrala gets provoked by harima 
But there's a condition right there. If the target champion is from the Demon Spawn faction. It's Mit Mitrella is not from the Demon Spawn faction, right? So why is she getting provoked on my team sometimes? I guess maybe... She's not. My Duchess gets provoked, but Mitrella sometimes gets provoked. But maybe I, di I didn't have um, block debuff buff on her then, or not enough um, resistance to deal with the accuracy of that Harima. So I've seen this champion provoke a lot of my champions that I did not expect. So that's the first champion that is going to be in that 10x that is coming up tomorrow. If you're pulling um, shards tomorrow for some reason or you want her so bad, you can see that she's so awesome. Not just as a champion that is able to keep herself alive against Dem Demon Spawn Faction, but she's also able to do huge damage and place irresistible provoke on Demon Spawn Faction champions also. Seems like they really wanted to... Build a champion that will take care of Candrophone and she does that so well. <laughs> then man, as her damage is also based on defense. That's another reason why she stays alive so long. Each hit increases this champion's defense by 5%. Stacks up to 100%. See? Crazy champion, so so difficult to build to kill. Instantly activates this skill if this kills an enemy. Yes. So if she just goes in, does this skill, she does. Um does some other skill you think she's taking two tons but it's actually this one that is activated let me stop there when i finally get her maybe we can test all this out and have a better understanding of how harima works for now i'm just just trying to understand how to counter her when i see her in battle that's why i see me paying close attention to her skills right now because i usually don't all right the next champion that is part of this 10x what the real real reason why i was laughing is because it's gonna be a void legendary champion and one that every person in Raid Shadow Legends wants. It's from the Lizardman faction, Void Legendary Champion, and it's gonna be <laughs> the Turtle. Now, I'm really laughing because right after a 2x on Void, after we went crazy and spent all. So, those who are saving all their Void shots might be saving it still for a guaranteed Legendary event for Void. But here is a Chris tempting you, calling you out to pull shots for him on a 10x and. Hopefully, when you pull your first, third, or fifth legendary, you might pop out that crisp from Void Shards. So that's it. 10x chance to get a crisp will be coming up on the 10th of May. That's on Wednesday during CVC. So if you want to help your clan stay ahead and win some CVC points, even there's there's no personal rewards, which is not smart though. Go ahead and do so. That's just I just want to give you this information as what's coming up, and yeah. So what else is happening in Raid besides this 10x for a CVC that does not have personal rewards? It's actually time for us to chill and not go crazy about CVC. But I sent, I see right here some events and tournaments that are popping up and making it look like it's worthy going for. I put your attention to the Spider tournament that just launched this morning and I looked at it I'm like, hmm, is there anything I need from here? 750 points or 1k points and out of all this points right here the only thing i actually needed was ancient shards so here is me going closer closer to 1k points or 1.5 points just to stay make sure i be i be one of those people that will be able to pick up this ancient shard during a upcoming fusion it's not wise to spend your gems to spend on things like this is best to ignore it and save all your resources for a fusion but i had some energy that is about to expire and um, just came into the inbox and that's why i'm, I'm spending it right here so i'll be spending all that i cannot save as for other things i can save check out the classic arena i'm still getting it i'm saving that 75 right here not trying to win any top position or anything but just claiming all the rewards on this side and what else champion training i started a little bit i wanted to go get the ancient shard for 5000 i might still do it why am I getting so many Ancient Shards or why am I so eager to get Ancient Shards because I'm trying to get up to five, 500 Ancients before the next 2x on Ancients starts around. So we have a big Shard pool video to do. That's why you see me chasing all the Ancient Shards I can because I have gems to do it. So if you don't have gems, save all that for a fusion and totally ignore this. If I have nothing else to spend energy on, I'll still be able to chase these 5000 points or even use my Void Bruise. To get me 5000 points required to do that so it might also be time for you to head over to your champions and start taking you know this some of these three stars to um 30 or taking two stars to 20 
preparing yourself for the fusion champion training so that's something that might be able to get me those high amount of points i need 5000 but i'm too lazy for that so i most likely went right here and used some of my four star chicken and just get those points so i know it's not the best time to do this you should wait during um the um what do you call it now cvc so i'm waiting once cvc starts fully i'll be able to head over there and complete any of those events and pick up any of the ancient shard that is calling my name what else did i pick up right here i see something glowing and that's from tagarina i did go in there and make my defense a one-man defense something i got against but this barrel was calling me they usually don't have a barrel for us here in the tag arena tournament so i was like there's no way i'm missing out on that one and check out the amount of energy that i also saved in that inbox all saving towards this upcoming fusion so we don't need to go crazy with our gems so i picked up that one and i'm gonna save it and picked up the barrel i've picked up so many barrels right now in Ray shadow legends it's not even funny anymore if i switch over to my tavern you see i have seven barrels right there what am, what am i saving it for I don't know maybe there will be one of those champion training tournament that makes you want to complete you know a lot of champions to 60 and this barrel takes a champion straight to 60 so that's maybe when i'll do it because my latest champions who i talked about recently in terms of um the champion guide that i'm planning to do on them um score crown sia and all that i took them to 60 during the mino i didn't use barrel on them and yeah Let's not even talk about that CR video because I plan to do a correction to that video once CVC starts. I'll be able to build her out and actually show the real build instead of that blunder that I made yesterday building her or talking about building her with 170% crit. So we'll correct that mistake tomorrow once that CVC starts. 19 hours for that video to drop. So, alright. I think that's all for Fusion prep that is coming up the warm-up warm -up, warm -up, warm -up event just simply head over to your artifacts and take one to twelve or take two to four and four so if i take another artifacts right here or accessories it also works on accessories not just artifacts let me just quickly grab that point sometimes you think you have time to do it and before you know the time has ended is that new that's a five star i'm looking for something to just take quickly to i use this one to eight because i've already taken something to four so i think this will be enough i need to complete this fusion warm-up that will give us some free energy that can also help us don't pick up the energy save them because the fusion will launch soon and we'll be able to save the, all that so another ancient shard calling my name right here and at the end we we'll think we'll be having a little bit over 500 ancient shards before the next 2x event run and comes around now you're wondering when how this is gonna go 500 ancient shards is a big is a large amount of shots to pull all at once so i'll be doing it live on twitch so if you're not following me on twitch right now it's time to head over right there bricks 5d on twitch i'll pin my twitch um, link right here in the comment section check it out click go follow me on twitch even though i'm not live right now so that you know when that um ancient shard it will be on the next 2x ancients just know once the 2x ancient comes around we'll be pulling all these ancient shards in order to get duplicate champions yes i'm keeping my expectations low duplicate champions is what i'm expecting to fill up my faction guardians <laughs> i know that's a wrong reason to pull shards but hey this faction guardians is the next thing that i have to you know to flex after beating almost every end game content that is available in raid i should be at, at a high level or max level of factual guardians for most legendaries if not all legendaries right here on my account so that's i hope in ancient shards will help me maybe max out some of those and maybe we'll pull up to six legendary champions from that 550 maybe ancient shards let me end it right here giving you this fusion news for this coming up 10x are you going to be pulling your ancient shards and sacred shards towards this to um 10x on chris the ageless or 10x on harima coming up from the ancient shard and a secret shard let me end it right here let me know in the comments what you think about these events that are coming up i always let you know that 10x events are a scam you might get the first legendary second legendary third legendary and it's not even any of the ones that are advertised right here so make sure you know that one and this 10x does not increase your chances of pulling legendaries the chances of pulling legendaries will remain the same yes it should still be a zero point five percent it's only saying that when you hit this 0 0.5 percent legendary chances then there's a 10x chance it might be um, the 
advertise champions, Krisk or Harima. All right, guys, I'll see you later.